uh, Shalom, all praise on the Lord to Yahweh, Pashim Yasha, Pashim Kakadash. The ones to the other Apostle Great Millstone, Salutation, I can teach all truth and sincerity. Um, it's going to be called um, Color in the, the Bible. Um, Um, Revelations um, 13 um, basically color in the Bible um, but anyway this is um Revelations chapter 1 verse 13 in the midst of the seven candlesticks one like unto the son of man clothed with a garment down to the foot and girt about the paps of the golden girdle. Uh, verse 14 says, His head and his hair, hair, his head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were a flame of fire. Because, uh, um, Yahushua's hair, um, was, um, the texture of his hair was compared to to sheep, sheep wool, um, you know, kinky, afro, um, like hair, um, uh, can, can typically what an average, um, so called Negro, so called African American man, uh, hair texture, that nappy texture, which, it, you know, that's what Yahweh's hair texture was. He had. Willy, nappy, you know, um, you know, woolly hair, um, and it was, um, it became, you know, white as snow, um, as he, uh, aged on the earth, um, And he says, eyes are a flame of fire, which, um, so-called, you know, black men have those, uh, those eyes. Um, also, Yahweh Shah, he drunk, he drunk, um, red wine every day, um, when he was on the earth, because the wine was, um, uh, I, I I believe uh, in the scriptures. I believe it says in Proverbs, it says give give strong drink to those that are ready to perish. Um, and um, one of uh, well, his favorite drink was to um drink wine. Um, that was Yahusha's favorite. One, you know, that was his favorite uh drink to, to consume. Um, it talks about that also in Genesis, where his uh, his eyes shall be red and his teeth white with milk. I believe that's Genesis forty nine, verse twelve. If I'm not mistaken, but anyway, I'm gonna read verse fifteen. It says, "And his feet, like unto fine brass, as that they burnt in a furnace." And his voice is a sound as many waters. So Yahweh Shai, um, your your feet are the same color as your body. So Yahweh Shai was a very dark skinned Judite from the tribe of Judah, because that's where his you know his lineage comes from. Because he's the uh, of the lineage of King David through his father Joseph, because Yahweh Shai's parents. Um, Yahusha was born the natural way everybody is born, um, through, uh, his parents procreating with each other. It, you know, Mary and Joseph came from the line of King David, but, but most important, uh, part of King David's line was Joseph's line because that is, uh, a direct, 
uh, connection to King David's line. Even though Mary, his mother, you know, was of the line of King David, but that was of Na uh, King David's son Nathan. But but Yahushai comes from Yahushai and Joseph come from the lineage of King David's son Solomon, which you know Yahushai was Solomon. So you know, <laughs> you know. But anyway. But the point is, you know, Yahushai was a very dark skinned man. Um you know and uh he had a very uh very uh deep voice, a very uh loud voice. Um anyway, um I'm gonna move on to um yeah Genesis forty nine. Uh this is Genesis forty nine and um verse twelve. It says his eyes shall be red with wine and his teeth white with milk. Because Yahushai he you know, his eyes you know, most of the time bloodshot red because he drank a lot of wine. Um so And also, he had the ability to turn water into wine. So, um, because he had that uh, spiritual power while he was in that fleshly body. So, if he took a pitcher of water, if he didn't have wine at his disposal, he could turn a pitcher of water that he drew out of a fresh, uh, you know, a fresh water uh area he could turn that into wine with with spiritual power that 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 that's a uh, one of the many abilities that was um bestowed upon him when he was on the earth you know when he understood who he was in the past life and who what he, what was his mission in this life to to um do but um i'm gonna go to um Another scripture, um, songs of Solomon, because basically I'm just bringing out scriptures that that's showing that our people, not just Yahweh Shai, but Yahweh, um, Yahweh Shai, the Israelites in general had color. We we we, you know, we are not, you know, those pale, um, red. Devils that inhabited um, the land of Israel today, you know the true biblical Israelites, the true biblical Hebrew Israelites, with are are supposed to have color. Are supposed to, um, even though we're scattered amongst the heathen, may look like the heathen, you know, uh, a large portion of, of Israel are supposed to, um, you know have different shades of brown because that is how our people that you know you have to that's how um that's how our people work you know in, in the near future all Israel is going to go back to that that um that look that we had before but even better you know um yeah I'm going to songs of Solomon Oh, give me, hold on, I don't know why I did that. It's Song of Solomon 1 verse 5. Uh, this, uh says, Song of Solomon 1 verse 5 says, I am black but calmly, O ye daughters of Jerusalem, as the tents of Kedar, as the curtains of Solomon. Yeah, because um, Solomon is telling that he's black but calmly. Um. Yeah, I'm um, read that over again. It says, Son of Solomon, uh, chapter 1, verse 5, it says, I am black, but calmly, O ye daughters of Jerusalem, as tents of Kedar, as her to Solomon. Um, so, he, so King Solomon, he's saying he's black, you know, he's a very dark-skinned man, and handsome, um, 
because the um tis kedar kedar was a son of ishmael and um that son of ishmael was very dark dark skin when he came out of his mother's womb you know when ishmael saw him he named him um kedar which uh the hebrew um uh, spelling of kedar is q a d a r kedar um and that's what the the Hebrew word Kodar means in dark skin. Um, that that was the name of Ishmael's son. Um, as you know, so King Solomon was a very dark skinned man, just like Yahweh Shai was a very dark skinned man. You know, and they they're two uh, people who are the same spirit. That you know was. Uh, King Solomon and and was Yahweh Shai when he came back in the reincarnation. King Solomon came back as Yahweh Shai in the reincarnation. You know, so I'm gonna reverse uh, six. Look not upon me because I am black, because the sun have looked upon me. My mother's children were angry with me, and maybe the keepers of the vineyards, but my own vineyard have I not kept. Um. I'm going to uh, read, uh, I'm going to go to Jeremiah, um, I'm going to go to Jeremiah, chapter 14, verse 2, this is Jeremiah, chapter 14, verse 2, it says, um, the word of Yahweh that came, Flocky, this is Jeremiah 14, verse 2, it says, Judah mourning in the gates thereof, languish, they are black unto the ground, and the cry of Jerusalem is gone up. So the um the tribe of Judah um are you know so called you know Negroes um uh, so called black people um they um they go from very dark skin to very you know light lighter shades of brown because um. And in our Lord, how shall he comes from the tribe of Judah? He extends from the tribe of Judah. That's his that's his father's lineage. King David comes from the tribe of Judah. And Yahusha is of, of King David's lineage. Um that's why he say he's you know the Alpha Omega, the beginning and the end, the uh, uh uh the root and the offspring of David, you know, um the bright morning star. Anyway, um, I'm gonna go to Hebrews right quick. Uh, Hebrews seven and um fourteen, I believe. It says, "For it's evident that our Lord spring out of Judah, of which tribe Moses spake nothing concerning priesthood." And it's evident, it's, it's you know, um, it's clearly evident that you know Yahushua comes from the tribe of Judah. That's his his father's tribe. Um. And the Judah is the so-called Negroes. Um, but this is a uh, Job 30 and 30. Um, it says, My skin is black upon me and my bones are burnt with heat. Um, and, you know, I can get more scriptures on the different uh, examples of color in, in the Bible. But that would be all day. Um, but the point is, you know, the Israelites, we had pigmentation in our skin of different shades of brown. All, all, all nations on the earth were different shades of brown before, until Esau came. And that's when Esau came, that was the first, um, individual that didn't have no pigment, you know. Anyway, I'm gonna say all praise, honor, glory to Yahweh, Bashim Yahshai, Bashim Kakadash, the one to the elder, possibly millstone. If that takes you, I can teach all true sincerity. Shalom.